Hey, hi, teach. I'm hungry. Let's go get pizza. I'm very hungry and I got a big appetite. And I want to eat one third of a pizza. Very sure that is a big portion. Mm, I'm hungry too. And I love pizza. I want to eat half of it. One out of two. That is the larger portion. Not yours. But I'm very hungry. And I am very sure that one out of three is the larger part. Because I know I have a bigger appetite and one out of three is larger. Huh. Says who you have a bigger appetite than me? I am the big one with the bigger appetite. I want half. Half is larger than one third. Huh. Um, uh, wait. So, one out of two or one out of three? Which is the larger portion? Which is larger? Let's try to find teacher Wei Chiang and, and, and let's, let's try and ask him. Today, we are going to help Tom and Peter out. Now, which fraction is larger? Half or one third? Now, to do this, we are going to make use of a pizza to help us out. Now, let us take a look at this fraction of half. Now, what does half actually mean? It means one out of two or parts. So let us take this pizza and we are going to cut it into two or parts. And we are going to take this one part and put it over here for comparison later. Let us move on to this pizza here. But we got to note that it's the same pizza, the same size. Okay? So we're looking at the other fraction, which is one out of three, or known as one third. So what does one out of three actually mean? It means one out of three equal parts. So how many parts am I going to cut this pizza into? Yes, you got that right. Three equal parts. And we are going to take out one out of this three equal parts and I am going to put them over here for comparison later. So right now we are going to find out if one out of two or one out of three is larger. So let us now put the two of them together. I think it's quite obvious that you can see that one out of two is larger than one out of three. So if you're really really hungry which piece should you eat? Now, let us say we want to compare other fractions. 1 out of 3 versus 1 out of 4. Which one is larger? Now, I am going to compare 1 out of 4 against 1 out of 5. Which is larger? One more time now, let us compare 1 out of 5 against 1 out of 6 which is larger and do you actually see a pattern over here 1 out of 3 is larger than 1 out of 4 1 out of 4 is larger than 1 out of 5 and 1 out of 5 is larger than 1 out of 6 do you see a pattern over here yes you got that right if the numerator is the same, then if we have a larger denominator, it would mean that the pizza is being cut into more slices. Therefore, the size of each size will get smaller and smaller. Let us try with another fraction. Let us take a look at 2 out of 5 against 2 out of 7 which is larger, which is smaller. Yes, 2 out of 5 is definitely larger than 2 out of 7. So there you have it, comparing fractions with the numerator being the same. To be able to understand this, we made use of pizzas. And that helped us see that the more slices you make in the pizza, the smaller each slice will actually become. I hope that helps.
Oh, now we know. Thank you so much, Teacher Wei Chang. Thank you, I understand it now. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Please do click the subscribe button, hit the bell, and give us a thumbs up. Please feel free to use these videos in your lessons if you are a teacher. And if you are a parent who is trying to help your child with math, please feel free to use the videos as well. Please give us some comments and tell us what kind of content do you want us to make for you. And we'll do our best to make this content for you. So until the next time, thank you very much. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye! Hey, hi, teach.